Hey, folks, my guest today is Tim Leland. He's the creator of T.ly, URL shortener and link management tool. His goal is simple, make creating short links a one-click process. This led him to create the URL browser extension that makes it easy to create, share, and track these URLs. Currently, the company has over 10 million short URLs created and tracked, uh, sorry, and over 100 million clicks across those links. The link shortener extension has over 400,000 active users. It's an affordable URL shortener that allows users to brand track and share their short URLs. Tim, you ready to take us to the top? Sure. All right, everyone thought Bitly won this space. What mousetrap did you build that, that made you steal market share here? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you know, Bitly's been around for a long time and definitely uh, still probably the most popular that you see. But uh, what I've been able to do is build the URL shortener extension that uh, has gained a lot of popularity. And then on top of that, I built uh, uh, sh a shorter URL shortener uh, using the domain t.ly and have seen uh, a lot of growth in, over the past uh, year or so. Mm -hmm. So so I think the product, this is a rare case where we don't have to spend much time on the product. It's exactly what it sounds like, a URL shortener, right? <laughs> so yeah. what are people paying for this? How do you make money? Yeah. So, I mean, it's you can use it for free, go create you know short URLs, but when it comes to uh, some additional features, so some additional analytics, uh, the ability to use the API, uh, custom domains, uh, being able to change the ending of the short URL, uh, and some other features that you only get for paying. So smart URLs. So if you want one URL that will redirect uh, based on a user's country, browser, uh, and different things like that, you know, uh, if, if they're on a phone, you want to take them to the app store. If they're on, you know. Uh, desktop, you want, may want to take them to your desktop app. So that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And so when people do this, if you look at only your paid user base, on average, what's a customer paying per month? Yeah. So I, when I started this, uh, and I think their prices have changed, but Bitly to be able to have a custom domain, you know, it was, it was very pricey. So um, I went with the approach of, uh, you know, a more affordable option. So I started off at $5 a month and that's where I'm at right now. So, you know, pretty much anybody can get in there, add their own domain and uh, start sharing uh, the term is branded links so they can uh, use their own domain and create as many short URLs, uh, you know, per, d depending on what plan they're on. This is great. I love this story. Okay. So a URL extension, browser extension allows you to grow a big user base, product-led growth. You put up a $5 a month paywall. Now people are paying today. How many folks are now paying? Yeah, I actually looked at that just now. Um, I have over 600 paying customers. So obviously there's churn in there. And But once somebody gets using it and they're happy with it, they usually stick around for a while. That's awesome. Okay. So $3,000 a month in revenue about, right? Well, the plans go up and down, so um, I'm actually over the four thousand. So, depending on what plan they select, so there's you know the plans are really the difference are if you want teams and if you want additional short URLs per month. So mm -hmm. that's how it kind of scales. Some some people sending out a lot of uh, short links want to be able to you know generate more per month. Understood. And what year did you launch the business? Uh, twenty twenty. 2020. Okay. So fairly new. I mean, are you, are, is this is a sole founder scenario up to 4k a month? Yep. Yep. It's just me, uh, you know, kind of doing it almost as a side project on top of full-time job. So this is just, uh, you know, nights and weekends type of thing for me. Oh, what's going on there, YouTube? Good to see you guys. Now imagine this. You love watching these interviews with SaaS founders, but imagine if we took all of the valuation data out from over 2,807 interviews I've done manually. Saves you a lot of time. Well, we've done this. We've built it into the beautiful interface inside of FounderPath. Check this out. I'll show you how you can access this in a second, but you log in, you connect your Stripe account, you see your valuation in real time, you can see what it changed over the past 88 days, and even set goals for valuation this year. 
Now, the secret to valuation is there's many different ways to value a SaaS business. So the reason you're going to see three or four different valuations inside of your Founder Path dashboard, this is all free, by the way, is because depending on who's doing the buying of your SaaS company, you're going to get a different valuation. A VC is going to pay a different valuation. Private equity firm is different. If you're going to do a minority sale, that's different. And if you sell the whole business, that's a different valuation. You can see all those when I hover over here. All right, so the teal is what a VC would pay. Yellow is what private equity. And red is if you sold the whole thing outright. Now, what's cool about this is this is not built off random data. Again, you guys hear these interviews on YouTube. All these data are built from real-time valuation data points founders share with us on the show. So traction, 1.2 million. Seed round, 3.7 raise. They sold 22% of their business. Go in here and filter by the event. Maybe you only want to see companies that have sold the whole business. Well, here are a bunch that have been acquired, the valuation and the multiple. Maybe you're going out right now and you're raising your seed round. Well, go in here and look at all this recent seed deals that went down, what they raised, what valuation they raised at, and what percent that they sold. There's never been a larger data set of SaaS valuations than what you can get now inside of FounderPath, and we're thrilled to bring it to you. All right, we're gonna go back to the YouTube video here in a second, but if you wanna check this tool out, if you wanna jump in and sign up, you can check it out for free to get your valuation at this link, this link, founderpath.com forward slash products forward slash valuations. Or if you go to founderpath.com and hover over products, click on get your valuation here, and go ahead and sign up to give it a whirl. Again, all that valuation data live right inside the platform. I hope to see you there. All right, let's jump back into the interview. That's on your, I see dad posters behind you. You're a busy guy, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> all right, so did, how many kids do you have? Uh, three boys. Woo, okay, three boys, a startup, and a full-time gig, huh? Yep, yep. All right, busy guy. So, okay, um, I guess walk me through why five bucks and when did you officially launch that that paywall? What months? So I'd have to look back at that. Um, was it? I mean, was much, it this year or last year? It, it was last year. Okay. So, second year in business, and why five bucks? Or you just sort of make it up and see what happens? Yeah, I think I kind of went the route of uh, what a lot of people starting off they don't charge enough, but I, but I was trying to, you know, give an affordable option to people who just want, you know, a certain number of links per month. So that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of where I came up with the price. You know, I did some calculations on, you know, how much storage and scaling, um, go, that's where the cost comes in for me is, uh, server cost and scaling this. What do you uh, think all in costs are per month? Per user? No, no, for you, for you to run the business. Oh, oh, uh, so hosting wise, I'm uh, over three hundred dollars a month. So that's, that's your biggest that's cost. The biggest, yeah, and I've started experimenting with uh, some advertising. So seeing how that goes to you know paid advertising. So mm -hmm. and and so what do you want to do with the business long term? I mean, if someone came to you today, I mean, you have a very large Chrome extension, four hundred thousand users. If someone offered you you know hundred thousand bucks all cash upfront today, do you sell? Uh, that's a good question. I've, I've actually not official ha had official offers, but I've had people interested and, and for now I'm kind of holding on to it to see how far I can take it. What was the largest offer you got? I know it wasn't binding, but just that you were talking about. It was a few months ago. So, you know, it was more the 200,000 user range. Uh, $200,000? No, 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 200,000 users. Okay. Um, I'd, I'd have to look it up. I don't remember. But oh, come on, was, Tim. You don't forget those things. What was the offer? What was the range? Uh, like in the 60,000. 60, okay. and, and did you... did So, I mean, did it at least warrant a conversation with your spouse at the dinner table or were you like immediately like, no? Uh, I was kind of thinking that's, that would be, you know, a, a pretty good deal. But no, uh, I, I want to keep growing it. And we both decided, you know, keep working at it. That's awesome. I love that. All right. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, again, let me go back to my first question. So where's the product going, right? So, so do you offer hundred dollar a month plans? Do you build, what can you build on top of this? You think? Yeah. So the plans, uh, scale up depending on how many short links you want, uh, per month and, uh, also team members. So I have the largest plan I have right now is a hundred thousand short links per month. And that's at $400 a month. 
Is anyone on that one? I don't think anybody's on that one, but I have some on the, the hundred dollar a month plans. So just to be clear, if you have a hundred thousand short links per month, it's four hundred bucks a month. Yes, creating so you can create, you know, the hundred thousand each month. So it kind of scales where you can do that many per month. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if you guys listening are having the same thought I am, but holy shit, Tim, you give away a lot for a very little amount of money. I mean, I've I've seen things where it's like if you go up to five links, it's three hundred bucks a month, and you're like hundred thousand links a month for four hundred bucks a month. Why not? Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's it could be it could come back to bite me. Uh, How many? But, here's a way to reverse engineer that. How many users do you have that have more than that created more than a hundred links last month? Do you know? Uh, uh, I don't have those numbers. I'd have to. Take a yeah. look, but do you know? Do you have some sense of how active your biggest users are? How many links they create mm-hmm. per month? Yeah. So the biggest thing is not necessarily the links, but more so the tracking and the redirects. So that's where a lot of companies uh, limit the number of redirects tracked per month, and that's where you know if somebody creates one link and it has you know millions of redirects and they're having to track stats on that, that's where it really starts to add up. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so how many redirects do you allow to be tracked per month at 400 bucks a month? Uh, so it's unlimited. And oh, <laughs> but come on, man. So wait, why have you been so, why are you giving so much away for free? You just make you, does it make you nervous to ask for money? Yeah, I think that's kind of, you know, the problem that a lot of people have, you know, uh, starting out. Um, Tim, why not just you, rip it off? Why not just throw up a plan for, five grand a month and just test it for a month and see what happens. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, you know, you look at like a tiny URL who's been around for 20 years and they, you know, are doing, uh, been given away for free. So now they do some other things through advertising and they actually recently introduced paid plans, but. Interesting. Well, I, I, it's, it's interesting what you've built. You know, a lot of people would kill for the kind of product led growth sort of acorn, you know, you know, foundation that you've built, which is compelling. And I also love, I talk about this all the time. I actually, it was a chapter in my book about using Chrome extensions as your initial community and your initial go to market. So have you learned anything? I mean, how did you grow that Chrome extension to 400,000 users? Yeah, that's a really good question. So I started building extensions back in 2015 and I actually built a, a weather extension that uh, grew to 200,000 users and, uh, it's still pretty popular. Um, it's weatherextension.com if you're interested. But it, so I use the extensions I've built to help promote my other extensions and this been in that space for a while. And so the URL shortener extension, the idea came from uh, when Google was shutting down theirs, I built the extension to use multiple services. And that's when, whenever that they're shut down, that's when I saw a huge jump in numbers. Hmm. Which is what year? Uh, that might've been 2019. Okay. Interesting. But now did you do things though, to like encourage people to leave you a review on the Google marketplace? So you rank higher or do you optimize your headline on, on the Google uh, marketplace to make sure they rank you in the right category, like this kind of stuff? Yeah. So I've, just from building the other extensions, I've kind of learned a few tricks. Um, and obviously just the words you put in there and then Reviews are important, um, but no, I mean, it just, it ranked well as far as Google searches. Um, if you search URL shortener, it's actually in the top page, which helps out a lot. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, back in 2019, it had 60,000 users. So that's kind of the growth of you know, the past three years or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's interesting when I search URL shortener, um, in the in Google, um, I get all of these responses, and yeah, you're you're listed as one of them. I'm trying to find it right here, featured by Google. So there's a lot. Oh my gosh, this is competitive. Holy crap! There's a lot of these guys, huh? Yeah. So you have Tiny URL, Bitly, and Rebrandly are kind of the top that I'm familiar. Well, what with. about like what about like Timeland, the URL shortener, these kinds of things? Uh-huh. Not sure which it's interesting. Which one is that? Well, it's interesting because the reason I landed it's called it's called a it's under extensions URL shortener. It's called Timely Land, T I M L E 
L-A-N-D. Oh, that's that's mine, Tim. Lindley. Okay, I was wondering. I was going to say, because in the description, it says the best way to create short links using T.L.Y. I'm like, I wonder if this is... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first result then in Google, right? So when I when I look at URL shorteners and I go down the page and click on this thing, which is actually a it's actually a Google, it's a developer, it's a develop it's it's a link to Google's thing, chrome.google.com forward slash forward slash for your stuff. So that's interesting. Um, did you intentionally set that up or was that like a nice accident? As far as being on the top search, yeah. Results? Like, why is Google? Why is Google make have yours on number one for that keyword term? Is it just because your your the name of your thing is URL shortener, <laughs> and that that's was my a, search? I think that's a lot of it, but yeah. I yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure there. But it makes a lot of sense. You know, people go, Nathan, why did you name your show the Top Podcast when you launched? And I said, Well, look, I just looked up the most searched word for podcast when I launched, and it was what's the top podcast. So I said, Hell. I'll name, I'll name my show the most searched thing, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Interesting. Okay, any other tricks we should know about sort of Chrome extensions? Uh, yeah, so using, your, using the extensions to promote each other. So if somebody's already installing one, uh, that's always a, a good thing. So, you know, when, when you install mine, I kind of encourage people to check out some of my other extensions. So, mm -hmm. um, Cool. Yeah, All right. And just to be clear, you're the only one on the team, which is great. And you're bootstrapped, right? Yep. I love that. Um, cool. Uh, well, listen, we're, we're excited to see what you do next. In the meantime, though, let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book. Uh, maybe not it's necessarily a business book, but I just read Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's, you know, it relates to business of building good habits. And uh, so that's, that's probably my most recent uh, number top choice. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, so it, it, are you familiar with uh, Taylor Otwell? Nope. What company is he with? He's the, he's the founder of Laravel open source uh, development framework, and he's built several companies That's around good it. stuff. Number three, favorite online tool for building URL shortener? Uh, so the, the framework that I use is Laravel. So that's Laravel. the... Yep. The framework, yep. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, I try to get at least eight. So married and with three kids, right? Yes. And how old are you, Tim? 34. Last question. Something you wish you knew when you were 20. Yeah. Uh, I think I, when I was 20 in college, I was doing computer science. I wish I had started a business then versus you know wasting a lot of my free time. Guys, there you have it. Launched in 2020, right around when Google shut down their URL shortener. He launched t.ly, his own spin on the platform. His Chrome extension now has 400,000 downloads. Launched a paywall late last year for five bucks a month. I think it's underpriced, but he has great revenue. His customers get great value. 600 customers paying five bucks a month, about 4K or north of five bucks a month, over about 4K right now in monthly recurring revenue. Recently turned down an acquisition offer for 60,000 bucks because he wants to see where he can grow this thing. One man solopreneur cranking it profitable. His biggest cost is 300 bucks for hosting. We'll see what happens next. Tim, thanks for taking us to the top. Thanks. This is great. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at NathanLacka.com 
forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.